a Bitcoin and Ethereum update. Uh, it's been about a week since we've done one, but there hasn't been much to talk about up until two days ago. So if, let's go over what's going on. Uh, we see that the downtrend on Bitcoin uh, started way back in April, and we haven't been able to break through this 34 EMA in a while. But one thing to notice here now is we finally had a candle of open and close above the 8 EMA T line right here, right on July 7th. So if you look back and, and you look closely, we haven't had a single candle actually open and close above the 8. You might have been faked out on a candle like this on June 6th or a candle like this on May 30th, but none of these candles have actually opened and closed above the 8 EMA T line. So if, if you were short here in this situation, you could have just ridden this down the entire time, uh, basically just been a steady eddy. Now, I didn't invent that phrase. Uh, that's from a very well-known trader uh, in the business named Steve Bigelow, uh, old school veteran. Uh, it's basically riding the 8 EMA T line up down if you're on the short side or if up if you're on the bullish side. So if we can see that none of these candles have actually opened and closed above the 8 up until just the other day where we finally had our first green candle open and close uh, above this 8 EMA T line. So if given us a lot higher probability to go and test this 34 right here on 23,100. So if this is gonna be the uh, point of area of where, where the market uh, will start to get much, much more bullish, but make sure that you always go for the candle that opens and closes above the 34 and, and you don't get faked out by candles that don't. Very similar to uh, to these candles here on the 8 EMA that actually did not open and close uh, above, the, above the 8. Uh, once we break through this level, we'll follow our Thanos strategy, go to 24,800, 29,000, and so on. So if, when we're looking for the long-term trend to start, we, we always have to backtrack to the shorter time frames. Uh, for example, uh, here on the hourly, we would have started to use that and then use the four hour to basically uh, guide ourselves up. Now, our last analysis that we posted uh, at the end of June, uh, it was uh, it was given a short targets because of, of this break over here below the 34 again. And uh, you'll see some similarities in that when I go over Ethereum. but you can see that the Thanos trend of has started. You had a nice uh, Morningstar candle here, uh, and then we've continued all the way up, and we've almost gotten to the 200 MA to capture that red zone, but, but we haven't just yet. Uh, bulls are holding the 144 EMA really steady here, and our next target is the 200 SMA right here at 22,400. That will give us the big break to the upside, uh, and that level matches our level here. And uh, if you look real closely here, the last high that was created before this leg down was right over here at 23,000. Uh, this is the top of it, and it uh, actually matches up really well with our 34. So if this is going to be the, be the area where the price does break out and continues to the upside. So if, let's take a look at uh, Ethereum as well. You got it right here. Uh, same thing here on uh, Ethereum on the daily chart. We see that the trend started here on April twelfth, uh, and for about ten days, uh, you had a you had a rejection here on the on the thirty four, and just like Bitcoin, none of these candles opened and closed above the eight EMA. So, we we never had a candle open and close above the eight EMA. Uh, now we just had one here on July 7th that finally opened up uh, and closed above the 8. Uh, we did have it here as well, but you can see that tiny red box that I have drawn right here that was using my 4 hour chart and I'll go over that in a second. Uh, this was the first candle that I did, but then we had a fake out. Now we have uh, another second candle that that has uh, opened and closed above the ADMA with our next target right at uh, 13.45 for us to uh, for us to push any higher. So if you can see that the candle yesterday here on July 8th uh, actually hit the top of this June 26th candle uh, and, it, and it rejected. So 
uh, if this would be a point of breakout for us in terms of just trading simple price action and then above that we will have to test the 34 and if you look on the four hour which our last bitcoin and ethereum analysis was based off of uh that was that little box that was on the daily but this is uh this was a short signal you had gone down on the short but now you've uh, started the thanos strat here again on july 4th uh, and you've actually traded right up to the 200 and it literally kissed the tip at uh 12 set 75 uh and now you're seeing some action here on the 144 so very similarities to ethereum and bitcoin you're looking for the break above this 200 to uh to really start that big pop up on the four hour of and then on the daily we're still going to need a little bit more time until this uh until this breaks that 1340 level but uh, once we break this this uh, 1340 level, that's when we'll see the uh, pump come up to about 1450 uh, and then 1870 and we'll have to trade it from there and just see what happens. But for right now, we're basically in this uh, in this waiting game. All right, guys, that's it. If you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks.